Hi, in today's video, we are going to learn how to find the area of a trapezium. Trapezium is a quadrilateral where one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Right? They need not to be equal, they are parallel. So as you can see, I have already drawn one trapezium on the grid and I have named it as ABCD where AB is parallel to DC, right? And what do we mean by parallel lines? If two lines are parallel, that means the distance between them will remain constant. So even if we extend the lines DC and AB, the gap between them is going to remain same. So that is the definition of parallel lines. And here in this trapezium, DC is parallel to AB. Now the question arises, how to find the area of this trapezium. I have done a smart thing. I have divided that trapezium into two triangles. I have drawn the diagonal AC of the trapezium, which actually divides the trapezium into two triangles. DCA, this is one triangle, and ABC, this one, this is another triangle, right? And we know the area of the triangle. Area of a triangle is equal to 1 by 2 base multiplied by height. Right? We have derived this formula in earlier videos. So let's talk about the base of these triangles. For the triangle ABC, this is the base, right, which has 9 unit squares along with the base. So the length of the base will be 9 units. Similarly, if we talk about the base of triangle ADC, the base is 5 units. And now, what about the height? Height is the length of the perpendicular which is drawn from one point to the base of the triangle. So if we talk about triangle ABC, it is very easy to find from point C, we will draw one perpendicular to this point E over here and length of this will be the height. So what is the length of this? Length of this is this much. If I extend it over here, it is actually three units right? So the height is 3 units and since DC and AB are parallel, the height of triangle ADC will also be 3 units. But otherwise also if I draw a perpendicular from point A to the extended base of DC, this will be the height of triangle ADC and this will also be 3 units. So in the case of trapezium, if we draw a diagonal, the diagonal actually divides the trapezium into two triangles in such a way that those two triangles have exactly same height. Both the triangles have the bases which are actually parallel to each other. So two parallel lines always have the same gap between them and that gap is exactly the height of the triangle in this particular case of the trapezium. So actually the diagonal which divides the trapezium into two triangles, the triangles have the height which is actually equal to the gap between two parallel lines of the trapezium, right? So if we talk about the area of triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC will be half base is AB multiplied by height, right? Height I am going to write as it is, okay? And what about the area of triangle ADC? So the area of triangle AB C will be half 
and in the, in the case of ADC, base is DC multiplied by height because in both the cases, the height is same, which is the gap between the parallel sides of the trapezium. So what, what about the area of trapezium? The area of trapezium is actually the sum of the area of both the triangles, right? So area of trapezium ABCD is actually sum of the areas of these two triangles, which I am going to write as 1 by 2 AB multiplied by height plus 1 by 2 DC multiplied by height, right? Now let's solve it further. As we can see, in both the terms we have this half here and this half here. And then also we have height is also common. So th these two terms can be taken out as common and the formula can be written as 1 by 2 multiplied by height, right? And inside the bracket we will have AB plus BC, right? So this is the area of AB, C, D, where AB, C, D is a trapezium, right? I'm going to write this formula over here so that we can compare it with the figure, what this actually means. So this is the formula I have noted it down over here. And now let's compare it with the figure, what it actually means, C. So the area of trapezium is half multiplied by height and multiplied by AB plus DC. Height we know is the gap between two parallel lines. And now let's see what is AB plus DC. AB is this line, this parallel line, and DC is this one, this parallel line. So AB plus DC is actually the sum of both the parallel lines. So area of the trapezium is half multiplied by the gap between two parallel sides multiplied by the sum of two parallel sides. So this is the formula for the area of the trapezium.